Hi, I'm Bob Jacobson. I'm Chair and Professor of Pediatrics at Mayo Clinic, and I'd like to talk to you today about concerns parents often have about vaccines and autism. Actually, in 2009, we can look back on a body of work, study after study, conducted both here at Mayo Clinic and across the world that have demonstrated clearly there is no link from vaccines to autism. In fact, while some vaccines actually can prevent autism, such as uh, the rubella vaccine, and some vaccines can prevent mental retardation, such as Haemophilus influenza type B and the measles vaccine, we have no vaccines that have ever caused a case of autism, and we have the studies to show it. Uh, this is quite contrary to claims made dating back to uh, the last century by uh, physicians who actually turned out to be associated with, uh, uh, with lawsuits that, uh, uh, and were being paid by lawyers to misrepresent an association between autism and vaccines. It led to a lot of harm. Families had chosen, based on concerns with this, not to vaccinate their children with the measles, mumps, rubella vaccine, or to delay the vaccination, or to demand that the vaccines were given separately. As a result, many children suffered, uh, both uh, abroad and here in the States, with cases of mumps, cases of measles, and cases of rubella. Uh, now that studies have been done from across Europe, across uh, America have shown repeatedly we have no association. Parents should, uh, should pursue catching up their children on vaccines if they've made those delays and support each other in pursuing it. Uh, vaccines among our pharmaceuticals and biologics are among the safest that we have and the most effective we have in preventing infectious disease.